ClinicalCalc.com. We're doing actually an integration by parts problem today, but it's a little bit of a special problem because it was actually submitted by one of our viewers. And the question is um, to evaluate the integral of ln or the natural log of x dx. Um, this question is a little uh, interesting simply because um, ln of x is a, is a really um, basic function um, and it almost falls into the category of one of those things where you would just memorize the rule. Like for example, um, we know that the, uh, the derivative of ln of x is um, 1 over x and that the integral of 1 over x is ln of the absolute value of x. Those are things that we memorize or that we would write down a for on a formula sheet because they're so common that we almost just, um, you know, have them um, committed to memory. Natural log of x, or taking the integral at least, of natural log of x is a little bit different because um, at least in uh, calculus 1 and 2, um, like at the college level, this is not something we're usually asked to do because it's a little bit, um, it's, it's slightly more complicated. Um, we can't actually just take the integral of natural log of x. It, it's not as simple as um, you know, the, the integral of 1 over x, which is natural log of the absolute value of x. Um, the only way that we can actually do this is using integration by parts. Um, if you're not familiar with integration by parts, then please go check out uh, the integration by parts section on my website for more problems. Um, but for now, we'll just go ahead and, and walk through this example, and hopefully it'll make um, more and more sense as we go. I'm going to go ahead and write the integration by parts formula over here so that we can reference it. It is the integral of u dv equals u times v minus the integral of v du. So we've got that written up there. Um, the first thing that we do, um, because we can't just integrate this um, on its own, we have to use this formula. We, um, we need to apply u and dv to values in our problem. Um, and you can find out more about this in the integration by parts section of, of um, the integral calc website. But basically, we want to assign u to whatever part of our function um, will, um, will, dif will differentiate well. So basically, we're going to be taking the derivative of u to get du. So when we take the derivative of one of these pieces, we want it to simplify itself. I'll show you what, what I mean. Um, our two components over here are ln of x and d of x. We're going to assign u to ln of x because, um, because when you take the derivative of u, which we call du, um, we get 1 over x. The derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. And 1 over x is something that's much simpler for us to deal with than the natural log of x. So that's why ln of x is a good candidate um, to be our u. So if ln of x is our u, then that means that dv has to be uh, dx here. Um, we have to when we assign these two values, u and dv, they have to be assigned uh, to values in our problem. We can't have anything left over. Um, u has to take up part of it, dv has to take up the other part, and every part has to be represented in u and dv. Um, so, the, so dv has to be um, dx. You can also think of um, this here as um, one times dx, right? 1 times dx would be the same thing as dx, but I find that it helps to remember um, a 1 in front of it because when you take the integral, the integral of this is x, which doesn't make too much sense to me um, when I'm just looking at the integral of dx. That's not readily apparent, but of, well, I know that the integral of 1 is x. So I like to picture a 1 in front of this dx, but if you, ever, um, if you ever are taking the integral of dx, you can remember, oh yeah, there's the 1, so the integral is x. Um, so we take the integral of this to get v, which is x here. So now that we have these four components, 
U and DV, which were from our problem, and DU and V, which we um, solved for, we can plug these four components into our formula over here. So this part is um, what we're going to plug the components into, and hopefully we'll end up with something that's simpler that we can actually integrate. So first we have U times V. So U is um, ln of X, and then V is X, and then we have minus the integral of V du. So V is X, and du here is 1 over X. And then, of course, we have to add dx simply because this um, integral sign here and dx are notation that always go together. So you can't have an integral without dx. It's really just notation, but it needs to be there. So um, this is how the, uh, the integrals come out. So let's go ahead and, and simplify. Over here, we're going to actually go ahead and put this x out in front. Um, so we will get x ln of x. And then minus, um, here we have an x in the numerator and an x in the denominator. So those two cancel. And you can see that we actually just get the integral of 1 dx, or just dx. You could actually erase this one, but we'll leave it as 1 dx. Um, and so then we, when we take the integral, it's actually really simple. We get ln x ln of x minus the integral of 1 is just x. The dx drops away whenever you take the integral, right? The integral sign goes away and the dx goes away. So really we just care about this 1. Um, so the integral of that is x. And then, um, of course, when, whenever we take an integral, we always have to add c, which stands for constant, to account for um, a constant that, that may have been there. Um, and this actually ends up being um, our final answer here x ln of x minus x plus c. So I hope that you can see that despite the fact that this looks like a very simple problem and maybe something that you would have a formula for, um, it actually ends up being something that's um, fairly complicated. And uh, so ln of x needs to be probably one of those things that you remember as, and as, as an exception. Um, and if you can't um, memorize this, know that you need to use um, integration by parts to actually derive all of these steps and, uh, and figure out what it is. Thanks guys! See you next time!